um, orientated competition since usually master plan competitions are on open fields. This one is special because there is industrial heritage on the site and um, the aim is to renew and revive the industrial heritage on this site. Okay, and in today's survey, uh, we went to Hanggang industrial plan, uh, plant area and invited uh, and in visited uh, Zhao Wangcheng site. I believe you have a certain understanding of the history and culture of Handan. And what's your in, uh, impressions of Handan? Do you have any preliminary ideas about the design plot of this computation? <laughs> preliminary ideas uh, to mention now in the interview would be a little bit too early, I believe. Yes. Um, the interesting part about the site and the surroundings is definitely the tension field between the Asian site and the industry because those are two very strong historical components. From back in the days, 3,100 years ago, um, blueprints of master planning um, are visible still today and of course the prosperity and uh, 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 the prosperity of China um, reflected by the strong industrial side of, um, of the Han steel. Yeah. Okay. And at present, the development of China's cities begins to lose the development uh, dividend of the past and gradually enter the time of stock based during this period. And urban renewal has become a new growth point in this process of urbanization. Uh, as a city planner, what do you think of the change of this stage of social development and its impact on uh, urban planning? What kind of the social responsibility should the urban planners take care? This is a maybe a bit tricky. I think that in the time of growth of society and, um, and cities itself, and especially in China, China cities, they explode literally. They need more space. So I believe that it's a great opportunity to actually use sites which are in the city perimeter which are occupied by different fields, for example, industry, and to revitalize them for actually the people, for leisure, for, um, for entertainment as well. So instead of building new cities, use what you have and find the places within the city. And uh, industrial uh, heritage um, condensed the development in uh, imprint of the cities and closely related to China's modernization process. Uh, China's plans to basically realize socialist modernization uh, in 15 years. Uh, therefore, uh, 15 years. Uh, therefore, um, industrial heritage of the city is closely related to the memory of urban residents in the cities. Uh, can you talk about how to trace? industrial heritage from the professional perspective of urban planning based on your past work experience and the current situation of Hong Kong, how can the industrial heritage find its own future development path? Hmm. <coughs> I believe, um, especially in a city like Hong Kong and uh, this big company, um, that <coughs> The site itself, or when we, when we did the tour <laughs> inside the site, the industry itself feels like a city within the city. I believe there is schools, there is housing, there is education, there is uh, super, even supermarkets. So I believe that it's very deeply woven into the fabric of the city itself and into the people. And I believe that even if the site or the industry will move to the outskirts more, it will still be part of the city's mental map. And the people will always relate to that because that is something which also made Handan great. Okay. And at the same time, we also notice some voices and think that the, some problems may be, uh, 
may be faced in the process of transformation of industrial heritage areas in the cities, such as the treatment of the remaining industrial poli uh, po pollution, pollution um, which may cause a large number of such costs. So the cost invested is far higher than the cost of direct construction. What do you think of the argument? As a design force, how do you think to balance the contract, uh, con contradiction between between uh, investment and return cost by industrial heritage transform transformation? And is there any case work that impress you? Um, um, I'm from Germany. Uh, in Germany, we have the Ruhrgebiet, uh, which is in the northwestern part of Germany. It's um, also a very heavy industrial sites, um, and um, they all become renewed. Um, I believe the turning point for an investment cannot be measured by cost, uh, investments in cost for building mass. It should be measured by the value for the people itself. And you also mentioned in your question the health factor. And I believe that um, a revitalization of an industrial site um, to get it more or to give, to give it back to the people and get it out of the city to somewhere else and maybe become even more economic or ecological uh, also in the outskirts, will always be beneficial for the people itself. And I believe that this is the biggest value you can have in a development like that. So money, it's for the health of the people and for the health of the country and the health of the city, I believe. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.